tailor-made, doesn't want anyone seeing their brand new 2023 driver just yet. And it goes to show how this has never happened before because if it was that easy, two and a half weeks ago, my phone was bombarded with WhatsApp, Instagram DMs, you name it, of the brand new tailor-made 2023 driver. And at the time, I didn't think much of it apart from, oh, that'd be cool. I get to review the older models, see what you can get for a bargain. And subsequently, I made that video. But then when I came to editing it and then obviously finding the pictures that I saw, obviously in the text groups, Instagram DMs, everything else and where I was going to source them from, they'd all disappeared. Nothing on Instagram, nothing on Twitter, nothing on their internet. And unless I did a bit of a deep dive into the world of internet forums, it all gone. But to be honest, I think makes a more interesting video altogether anyway. And I'd love to get your thoughts on the matter as I'll go into as much detail essentially what I've found because let's be honest, over the last three months or so, I've kind of done this with every manufacturer, i.e. I did the Callaway Paradigm Driver, all the Epic Flash models, I did the Ping G430, all the old Ping G series models, Cobra Aerojet, you name it. And if you were to type any one of those drivers, obviously online, and I know the G430 is out in some countries, but not here in the UK, there's tons of articles, there's tons of videos, there's tons of photos, X, Y, and Z, even though the embargo date for all three of those drivers, especially in this country, isn't until January. And to be fair, this happens every year. I've always thought it's because the manufacturers want them leaked. It creates that buzz. It creates that anticipation and excitement of the newer products coming out in 2023. But it's quite clear from the evidence that TaylorMade doesn't want anyone seeing the new 2023 driver. And I want to talk about why that potentially is. Because as far as I'm aware and remember, it's the first year that this has actually happened. So we have the original Stealth Driver out on the course today and for good reason. This wasn't reviewed in my video that is due to be coming out of the value tailor-made drivers you can get in 2023 going forward because this still holds quite a bit of value. A massive shout out to the boys at Replay Golf for loaning me this Stealth Driver to do today's video. And probably explains the reason supposed formal letters have been written to social media accounts to take down images. Even Golf WRX at one point had to take down their images for a couple of days. And ultimately, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on the original Stealth Driver. Have you had it? Have you tried it? Is it in the bag at the moment? And let's be honest, when this driver does eventually get down to 200 pounds, that golden price point of newest technology versus, let's be honest, decent value for money, would you recommend the other guys in the comment section to well get it? Now, before we get into the finer details, the speculation, dare I say, the gossip, I think you need to understand something about TaylorMade's product cycle, which is very different to all the other manufacturers. Titleist, two years in terms of bringing out a new driver or wood, and then they bring out the irons on the opposite year. Ping, obviously had the G410, but since then had the G425, two year cycle, G430, and before that, again, two year cycles with their drivers. Callaway, even though they bring out a new driver each year, one is the adjustable weighted side, the other is the more, let's say, forgiving side, i.e. your Rogue ST, your Maverick, your original Rogue, and then on the other side, epic, epic, epic. Whereas TaylorMade bring out an adjustable weighted driver head, the Stealth Plus, and then the standard, your Sim Max, your M2, your M6, the list goes on and on. Therefore, for a lot of resellers, pro shops, online stores, you name it, you've essentially got eight months of the year where that product is premium and people are going to pay full retail for that driver until the new latest and greatest shows up on the doorstep. Which brings me on to the only reason that we do have leaked pictures before an embargo date. The reason that most manufacturers have an image of their product online before. Number one, tour players use it on tour, try it, test it, see if it works for them. And that ultimately ends up on Golf WRX. And then number two, pre-books. 
having pro shops, having online sellers, you name it, see the product so that they can then buy the product in bulk. Ultimately, the only way you can have an account with TaylorMade, Callaway or Ping. You have to spend 8,000, you have to spend 10,000, you have to spend 12,000 minimum to be able to fit for the irons and driver for all these manufacturers every year which means it's necessary for manufacturers to show products to members of the public early because, well, they need that influx of income for the start of the year anyway. But when you're showing the product to thousands and thousands of people, and I understand obviously a lot of these people will be signing NDAs, it's incredibly difficult to keep the name, the information, and potentially photos of that stuff off the internet. Now, I think there's two reasons why TaylorMade potentially don't want anyone seeing their new lineup for next year. Number one being, they actually want to release the product themselves, which does become somewhat impossible. And to be honest, I've done this for a very long time. Leaks always come out first, mainly because the product put on the USGA website, which it will be done very soon, so that obviously it's then conformed to the USGA rules, which means it can be used in professional and amateur play. And this is always done before the launch, let's say, of the driver itself, the adverts, the tour pros use it, YouTube reviews, everything else. So for that sense, it's almost impossible to keep the image of that driver away from the public before you potentially get to have your own go of trying to introduce it to the public firsthand. Oh, it's slightly right. Otherwise that was absolutely nuked. Let's hit another one. And then option number two, which I think is a lot more likely, trying to help which is rightly so, a lot of their big clients, a lot of big orderers, a lot of pro shops, club fitters, you name it, because I think last year, the buzz around this was very early. The leaks came out very early, and you can read into that however you like. The driver on the USGA list had been out for quite some time, creating an incredible amount of hype. Buzz, carbon face, lighter, next generation. And there would have been tons of pre-orders. There would have been tons of pre-books. There would have been so many pro shops, club fitters, online resellers, you name it, outlet stores, ordering a ton of this stock. And for all accounts, I think the Stealth has done okay this year, but I don't think it's dominated the market as much as people were thinking. Meaning a lot of that pre-book is sitting on the shelf. A lot of that pre-book is waiting on the sides and maybe give a tiny bit more of a helping hand to some of those places that need to move quite a bit of this product. That is ripped. So let's talk about the speculation, the effectiveness, and I'm not gonna post the letter obviously on this video because I have no idea of the authenticity, nor am I gonna post their images because TaylorMade's made it very aware that they don't necessarily want this out in the public. And I respect that, to be perfectly honest, as it is their product and they have spent a bit of money on it. And if they go to this kind of effort to keep it out of the public eye, who am I to obviously spread that? However, if you go on Golf WRX and go to page 23 and read through all the stuff that I'm about to talk about now will make quite a bit of sense. And to be fair, it goes to show the power of a lot of these manufacturers because a lot of these Instagram pages that got asked to take it down didn't really need to necessarily have anything more than a DM and a letter potentially sent to their email just explaining the situation and saying, would you be able to take this post down as we don't necessarily want this in the public eye just yet. And it goes to show how this has never happened before because if it was that easy just to ask Instagram pages, Twitter pages, Facebook pages, you name it, even websites like Golf WRX to take these posts down, then everyone just agrees. Everyone does just take it down. No one necessarily goes, no, I will show your product to everyone else in the world. And to be fair, it potentially goes to show in the past how much manufacturers don't really mind the leaks because it does create quite a bit of buzz behind the product without them having to do any work. Oh, that is gone. That is the best hit of the day today. It does sound great, this driver, to be fair. But as it stands currently mid-December, a week away from Christmas, this driver is still pretty premium. And I can't show you the video that I've already made at the moment, but let me just give you a little teaser, the sim from TaylorMade, two years old. It's currently going for around 140 pounds. Considering you could potentially get three of those for the same price as one of these brand new, I'll let you guys work out which one 
is the better valued option. Guys, if you like this video, you might want to check out my Callaway 2023 video, which is up and is online and has tons of articles written about it. Guys, thanks for watching. See you later.